Have you ever thought it would be so good to type things out on a keyboard but use my own handwriting at the same time? Babe, I got you. I'm bringing you a super quick and super simple tutorial on how you can do it yourself for free. And there's no need for expensive software or fancy equipment. Ready? Let's do this. Hi my lovely people, it's Natalia and welcome back to my channel where I share super actual ideas on content creation for entrepreneurs and creatives. And this video is a long requested one, so I'm here to deliver an easy tutorial on how to make your own font and while we're at it, how to import it into Canva as well. Once you watch it, you'll know exactly how to transform your handwriting into a font, what tools you need to use, how to install that font on Windows or Mac, and how to upload it to Canva since so many people ask for it. And since it's supposed to be short and sweet, let's hop on. So the tool we'll be using today is Calligrapher. Mind you, there's no E between H and R, but it's calligrapher.com. This is where you want to go. And the first thing we want to do is to get started for free. So set up our account. It's very straightforward. So once you do that, we can go ahead and see how we can create our font. Now, once you set up your account, you just need to confirm your email address and then you can log in. Now that our account is activated, the first thing we want to do is to create a template. So in the top menu, you can click on templates and then you'll be able to create a template from there. But we can simply click on that shortcut in here and that will take us to that view as well. So in the left panel, you have all the different options of characters that you can include. You have minimal English, German, French, Spanish, Japanese. You have all the different languages in here that you can choose from. Um, you have miscellaneous and mathematical, punctuation, currency, symbols. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show the minimal English one and we can just hit download template from the top panel. Now we're going to go for the standard PDF. You can increase the size of the template cells, which means um, if you're, you know, if you have some issues with your site, you can make them a bit bigger so that it's easier for you to write them down. Then the next thing is uh, draw helplines. This is the option that's selected as a default. And I definitely recommend you have that enabled because that allows you to actually make sure that all your characters are roughly the same size so that your font is more cohesive. Another option is characters as background, and this draws a shade of a character in your template cell, and this helps you further in creating those templates. So um, I will go ahead and download it like this. I will download them both with characters in the background and without them, so you can see the difference in a moment. And before we move on, I actually want to show you that with a free account, you can actually add up to, I think, 75 characters. Let me just check that in here. Yes, so you can see in here, it's displaying a warning saying there are currently 121 characters or ligatures in this template, but the free version only supports 75 glyphs per font. And that, of course, means that if you want a more elaborate font, you will have to actually get that pro account. But again, it's, it's what you need. You need to decide. Um, I'm just going for the very basic option at the moment. Now with this step, you could go the fancy way and use your iPad with Procreate to fill it in. You could open this on a computer and fill it in digitally with a tablet and say Photoshop. But we're here to make it as cheap and easy as possible. So we're going to print the template out a few times and go at it using our hands like it's supposed to be when you want the actual handwriting. Now, you need to make sure that you fill out your template with a black pen. And while filming the filling out of the template, I'm going to give you some tips. So Calligrapher recommends using a felt tip pen rather than a ballpoint. And it's definitely helpful because it helps you express your handwriting much better. Um, however, make sure you use a pen that you're the most comfortable with as well, because this will help you nail the shapes on your first try. If you're not happy with what the letter looks like, you know, you can always grab another copy of your template and try again. And I will show you how to fix it later as well. And be mindful of the guides because that's what's going to determine how equal in size your letters are and how well aligned they are. And when you focus on a character at a time, there's a tendency to have different blotches appear here and there, especially with um, the characters like the uppercase O or when the different lines connect, like with Y. So be on the lookout for those and write as naturally as possible. Now that you've filled out your template, you can go ahead and take a photo or better yet, use a scanning app. Um, in my case, I'm using Scanner Lens Plus. You can use Cam Scanner as well, or if you have a traditional scanner at home, 
by all means, go ahead and use it. Be sure that you stand in a good, even light and place the template on a flat surface so that it doesn't create any shadows. And make sure that the squares and the corners of the template that are included by calligrapher are visible on your scan. It's imperative because that allows the calligrapher to actually recognize this template and make sure it's shown correctly. The next step is uploading your template and editing it in calligrapher. I've downloaded it from Google Drive. I have it on my computer. So once you have the scan ready, go back to calligrapher and open the My Fonts tab here at the top. Now there is a second panel in here at the top. You need to hit Upload Template and select the file that you want to go for. Um, I'm just going to upload it like this. It may take calligrapher a moment to actually upload it and to clean up your template, but we're going to wait and edit it in a second. All right, so as you can see, we found 52 glyphs in the one image you've uploaded and you can actually add new variants. So upload another template after adding these characters and you will be able to actually create different variants of the same character. Now, why it's important is because handwriting is a bit more kind of natural. It flows more naturally. There is never the same character kind of repeated. So it's quite good to add those variants. Again, it will be possible with a pro account, but with a free account, you can just go ahead and um, do it this way. And now add characters to your font, just like that here at the bottom. And now you can actually go in and edit some of the glitches that are not quite well executed. So I'll go to the Y in here. I'll click edit character just like that. You have all the different brush types that help you clean up that design properly or even add some different elements to it. So I'm going to go for the circle in here, change the brush size and select a razor because I want to make sure that it's a bit cleaner and you can zoom in like that and you'll be able to just clean it up a little bit. That's not ideal, of course. So if you want to go down in here and undo, that's absolutely fine. And you can just start sort of slowly cleaning up your character from here. And I'm not going to go too crazy in here, but any elements that are kind of outstanding, that are breaking the line, I would definitely kind of clean up, but don't be too, you know, too, too perfect with it. Of course, handwriting is supposed to be a bit messy. It's not always perfect. So go for that natural feel. And if you undo the eraser, you can actually fill in all the gaps that might not have been caught with a scan. So I'm just going to fill that in like this from this character. And you have all the different lines as well, which help you create straighter um, characters just like that. And let's choose the lower J in here. And as you can see, sometimes when you scan it and you increase the contrast, it, it may sometimes include those guidelines that were there on the template. So you definitely want to go back and remove it, save it, and just check all of your different characters for that trait. Now, of course, these characters are far from perfect and I could spend a lot of time in here refining each and every one of them. But for the sake of this, this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and hit build font here at the top and that's going to create my font. You can change the name in here. So I'm just going to go for NK um, test because it is a test version and I'm just going to go ahead and hit build like this. And now our font is generated in the preview mode. You can always make it bigger so you can see what it looks like. If you notice any mistakes at this stage, you can always go back, edit some more and build another font from this. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the TTF file. You can download the OTF file as well. That's going to download it. And now I'm going to show you how to actually install it on Windows. So to do that, you need to go ahead and search for control panel and then you're going to find fonts. Here it is, just like that. And in Windows, once that's open, you can simply drag your font in here and that's going to install it on your drive. Once that's done, you can simply go to Word, open it up. Now I'm just going to paste some text in here, select it and go ahead and choose my font. This is NK test, just like that. And as you can see, you have my font written in here. It's not quite perfect. I've not really used uh, the punctuation in the template. Again, you can go ahead and choose to do so with your templates, but this is it. This is what it looks like. You can always go back to the same template from, um, from Calligrapher and actually refine those characters. You can go back and upload the new ones just to make sure that you're kind of 
achieving the level of handwritingness that you want. And of course, if you're on Mac, you can do the following. You can go to the font book app and click the add button in the font book toolbar, locate the font again, select it, and then click open. And that will just install it on your computer, very similar to Windows. So in order to actually upload the font to Canva, you do need a pro account. But if you have it, you go to brand kit here in the left panel, you have all the different fonts, and you can actually upload um, a new font from here. You hit upload font, select the one that you want. There is a warning that pops up um, to say that you need to have the right to use it. Of course, any font that you create from your own handwriting in Calligrapher, you have complete rights to both non-commercial and commercial. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes, upload anyway. That's going to upload my file. And as you can see in here, I actually have a previous font um, that I've uploaded from before. That's another test font that I have. Uh, so let me just go to uh, my designs. I'll go in here and you can see that in this design, I've actually used the previous font that I've uploaded, what to do when you want to work, just a random piece of text. Uh, I can go ahead and type a new text in here. Um, hey, my friends. And just like that, you do have your own handwriting in Canva. Very easy. Um, I feel like Calligrapher is such a powerful tool that you can use to create all the different kind of glyphs. You have the ability to create um, ligatures as well. So the font, the lettering combinations as well, because in hand lettering, it's quite important to have those connectors in there. So um, this is what Calligrapher actually allows you to do. So go ahead, have fun with it. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments if you'll turn your own handwriting into a font and how you're going to use it. Make sure to watch this video next and hit that like button if you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe for more creative content and I'll see you next time.